just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you, the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set, an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestlers, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blackowitz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. You ready to fight? fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Nice strike. Adesanya, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Blahovich. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big head kick. He's throwing hard in the pocket. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice knee. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Able to get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. All 25 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wahovic. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
went for the inside leg kick. How about that shin? Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. That was a jab. Well, oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this one. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shit into his opponent. Big head kick lands. And he connects with a punch there. He's hurt. Shot to the body here, blocked by Adesanya. Oh! Can't take many of those, you better check. Beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. So 40 total strikes already landed for Jan Guajovic. Striking at a 57% accuracy rate against Israel Adesanya. Punch over the top. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Adesanya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over two minutes to go. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.